Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of the valproic acid. The valproic acid is a primary broad spectrum anti epileptic drug. What is the mode of action of this valproic acid? Valproic acid is a sodium channel blocker. It increases the GABAergic transmission. It inhibits glutamate activity. That is, this glutamate is a stimulatory neurotransmitter. GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. It may also inhibit low threshold calcium currents in the hypothalamic neurons. So you have multiple mode of actions. What are the therapeutic uses of valproic acid? Myoclonic seizure, this is the drug of choice. Absent seizure or petit mal seizure, this is also a drug of choice. Tonic, clonic, grand mal seizure, alternate drug. Bipolar disorder, it is useful in bipolar disorder especially in the manic phase of bipolar disorder. It may be used along with the lithium, that is the drug of choice for bipolar disorder. Trigeminal neuralgia or other pain syndrome like glossopharyngeal neuralgia. Lennox Gestalt syndrome, this is a childhood epilepsy, may be associated with cognitive dysfunction and tuberous sclerosis. So it is used there, Lennox Gestalt syndrome, especially after the age of two. Migraine prophylaxis, tardive dyskinesia. Tardive dyskinesia is an involuntary movement of grimace and protruding tongue, tongue, tongue is, is sticking out and abnormal movement in the tongue and also lip smacking, smacking condition and some Parkinson-like feature in tardive dyskinesia may be complication of some of the neuroleptic or other anti-emetic drug. So this is a adverse effect of some drug that can be managed by valproic acid. Okay, what is the absorption and fate of valproic acid? It is administered orally and is rapidly absorbed. We know that it is absorbed from the duodenum and jejunum of the small intestine. About 90% of drug is bound to plasma protein. Most of the drug is metabolized in the liver. Only 3% is excreted unchanged. Valproic acid is metabolized by the cytochrome P450 system of the liver. The glucor glucuronated metabolites are excreted in the urine. Plasma half life in the valproic acid is 12 to 15 hours. So, much longer plasma half life. Valproic acid should not be stopped suddenly. Why not? If we stop the valproic acid suddenly, there may be withdrawal seizure. Is there any contraindication for valproic acid? It may not be absolute contraindication, but it is a relative, these are relative contraindications, especially in children under the age of two years, in case of liver failure and in pregnancy. These are relative contraindication. Adverse effects, there are many adverse effects, nausea, vomiting, tremor, drowsiness, hepatic failure, sedation, ataxia, person cannot walk properly, imbalanced, rash, maybe dermatitis, alopecia, loss of hair. So in valproic acid, loss of hair, in case of phenytoin or other antiepileptic drug like carbamazepine, we may have hirsutism, more hair may grow in unsighted places, but in case of valproic acid, it is alopecia. An increased bleeding time, why? Due to thrombocytopenia. Decreased number of platelets 
and inhibition of platelet aggregation. So there is more tendency to bleed. There may be some idiosyncratic pancreatitis and hepatotoxicity, especially in children under the age of two. And the pregnant women take valproic acid they may develop fetal valproic acid syndrome, especially the spina bifida. There may be some heart problem, facial abnormality, the digit of the, of the finger and the toe will be shorter. Okay, so these are the features of valproic, fetal valproic acid syndrome that may happen if the pregnant women take valproic acid. How to prevent this congenital birth defect? by giving heavy dose of folic acid during and even before pregnancy it should be continued throughout the pregnancy folic acid supplementation with mega dose drug interaction yes valproic acid inhibits its own metabolism and the metabolism of other drug including phenobarbital carbamazepine phenytoin ethosuxamide okay most of them are anti-epileptic drug but it also interact with aspirin that is the NSAID aspirin acetylsalicylic acid so this drug has a lot of adverse effects hepatotoxicity so always patients liver function test should be tested there may be chance of pancreatitis even there may be chance of high level of ammonia in the blood so we must check the blood urea nitrogen liver function test the renal function test to a patient who take the valproic acid and that's all about the pharmacology of the valproic acid if you have any question please feel free to ask me Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.